September 19 UPI Hurricane Maria was within 30 miles of the U.S. territory of St. Croix on Tuesday night, the National Hurricane Center. In its LINK 11 p.m. advisory http www.nhc.noa.govt.e.xt.r.e.f.r.e.s.h.m.i.a.t.c.p.85.shtml200244.shtml target blank, the NHC said the center of the Category 5 storm was 30 miles south-southeast of St. Croix and 120 miles southeast of San Juan, Puerto Rico. Maximum sustained winds were recorded at 175 miles per hour, with higher gusts. Maria was moving west-northwest at a speed of 10 miles per hour a direction which was expected to continue through Wednesday. The NHC called the storm potentially catastrophic barely a week after Hurricane Irma toured through the same region. On the forecast track, the Eye of Maria will move near or over the U.S. Virgin Islands Tuesday night, cross Puerto Rico on Wednesday, and then pass just north of the coast of the Dominican Republic Wednesday night and Thursday, the NHC said. Earlier Tuesday night, the NHC said the government of Antigua discontinued a hurricane warning for St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, and a hurricane watch for Anguilla. A hurricane warning was in effect for the U.S. Virgin Islands, the British Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Vix, Culebra and from Cabo Ingano to Puerto Plata in the Dominican Republic. Hurricane watches have been issued for the Turks and Caicos Islands, Saba, and St. Eustatius, St. Martin, St. Martin and St. Barthelemy, and from Isla Seona to Cabo Ingano in the Dominican Republic. There was a tropical storm warning for Guadalupe, Saba, and St. Eustatius, St. Martin, Anguilla, and in the Dominican Republic from Puerto Plata west to the border with Haiti and, and from Cabo Ingana west to Punta Palenque. Rain accumulations of 10 to 15 inches, with isolated maximum amounts of 20 inches, are forecast across the Leeward Islands and the U.S. and British Virgin Islands through Thursday. In Puerto Rico, 12 to 18 inches and isolated 25 inches are expected. Rainfall on many of the islands could cause life-threatening flash floods and mudslides, forecasters said. Storm surge could raise water levels by up to 7 to 11 feet above normal tide levels in the hurricane warning area near where the storm moves across the Leeward Islands, the British Virgin Islands.